Oh, no. <laughs> it's the Holocaust. <laughs> World War Three. Heavy! What are we going to do? Mike! Hey, hey, turn on the telly. You're thinking, Biff. We need information. <laughs> I'm ready to watch Afternoon Plus. <laughs> Turn it over then. Oh, <laughs> Might as well try the other oh, one. That's all right. <laughs> it's absolutely pathetic. There's nothing on at all. <sighs> don't even know why we bother to pay our license. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> but haven't we got a license? No. But that makes me a criminal. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Shake them up at the Anarchist Society. <laughs> Occupying the refectory. So what? <laughs> this is the real stuff. <laughs> I'm a fugitive. A desperado. <laughs> I'm going to form a new union society, right? With me as president. People who don't pay their TV licenses against the Nazis. <laughs> this is only the beginning. <laughs> what are you going to do, Rick? Burn your bra? <laughs> Well, someone's got to do it, Vivian. It's very easy to sit on your backside, isn't it? Not if you haven't got a bottom. <laughs> That'll be the front doorbell ringing. I bet I know who's got to answer it. But Neil, you like meeting people. <laughs> if I had a penny for every time I had to answer the door, I'd have £5.63. <laughs> It's probably someone unbelievably boring. Oh, no! It's the TV detector man! <laughs> Mike, you bastard! <laughs> Why didn't you buy a licence? I can't go to prison! I'm too busy! I'll get raped! Yes, yeah, steady on. <laughs> I'm not beaten yet. The time has come for diplomacy. Oh, no. Look, he's asked me if we've got a telly. I don't know what to... Uh, I think I'm going to have to lie. <laughs> what a bummer! Right, the time for diplomacy is over. <laughs> Shut the telly out the window. Get him, quickly! Quickly! <laughs> that I did not expect. <laughs> Why are we sneaking out past him into the street? Yes! 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 Mike! You run outside, right, and say, point to the sky and say, look at that interesting thing up there! You disguise the TV as an old woman and sneak it past him! Look, suicide may be a great hobby, but I wouldn't do it for a living. Lads! Lads! Look, I've told him we haven't got a telly, and I think that's thrown him a bit, but uh, it won't hold him forever. <laughs> that's good thinking, Neil. Keep it up. This is a very tricky spot, but Mike, the cool person, will squeeze it. Rick, stop crying. I'm not crying. I've just got something in my eye. That's right. <laughs> Eat the telly. <laughs> that's a completely brilliant idea, Mike. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> It was the other three, not me. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. It really was the other three. <laughs> you know, all right, don't rush me. I mean, that is not such an easy question to answer. You know, have I got a telly? <laughs> there could be a number of, like, different replies, couldn't there? I mean, I need time to think one up. Huh? We know you've got one. We detected it. Oh. <laughs> so you've just been playing with me all along? Well, it's better than playing with yourself. Ho, oh, oh, ho, a cheap sexual illusion makes the world go round. Uh, Neil, you haven't introduced me to your new pal. Bastard's the name. <laughs> but you can call me right bleeding. All my friends do. Well, did. How do you mean? I killed him. Where's your licence? <laughs> As the eunuch said to Mussolini, I haven't got one. And if I did, I wouldn't show it to you. It was a really cheap joke, right? I'm saving up to pay the licence fine. <laughs> you haven't got a plan. I can never resist a challenge. Neil, I haven't got a plan. I hope someone's taking this down. Right, where's this telly? <laughs> Aha! So you do have a... You little right! <laughs> <laughs> the old trick, eh? Eat the telly before I get a chance to nick you. It's a toaster. <laughs> it's a telly, you yobbo. Give it back. I want to nick you. Oh, Mr. Bastard, Mr. Bastard. OK. Now, toaster or telly, the contents of my colleague's stomach are private property. And if they get damaged in any way, we sue. Well, I can wait. 
I've dealt with your sort before. <laughs> Where's your toilet? Oh, uh, upstairs. Just follow your nose. <laughs> well, that's right, Neil. Tell the fascist where our toilet is. <laughs> I'm going up there now to wait. I know how to wait. And I promise you, son, when that telly comes out the other end, <laughs> you're nicked. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, lads. I always poo before I get up. <laughs> dear, oh dear, what a boring man. <laughs> oh, no, that was really heavy, Rick. Well, what's this? It was the other three, not me. Give me that! <laughs> oh, that's very nice, isn't it? Trying to blame us three and save yourself. It's all right, Mike, I'll tear it up. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs>